how to hire for the long term. It's myorganized.life live. Well, hello. Hi, how hey, are you? Not too bad. Tuesday, April 3rd. Oh, my We're goodness. in April. Wow. I know it's crazy, isn't it? It is crazy. Yeah, but uh, flying by. It is flying by fast, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, today we've got a special in-studio guest. Yes, we'll get we to do. her in a moment uh -huh. uh, because we're going to talk about hiring. And you know, uh, we hire a lot here at Speed, mm -hmm. right? Right. And uh, yep. it sometimes it seems like it takes forever, but you want to find forever. the right person, right? Exactly. Because you, uh, if it's any company like Speed, um, people once they start working here, they work here a long. They never time. leave. I never I mean, leave. We have people here 40, 45 years. Uh -huh. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's it, unbelievable. It actually. is kind of unbelievable. Yep. So, so they, uh, I, I guess their process is right. I yeah, mean, they yeah. take a while, but people stick around. Yeah, and you want to hire for the long term because mm -hmm. the cost to is crazy. Right? It is. It's, it's you know, a it's, lot. it's super expensive to run all the ads. Then you get somebody in and they don't work out. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna talk with uh, Jan on that. Just uh, before we get into that uh, interview, and we'll have her come on. We're gonna we're gonna take a quick break. But um, coming up this week, we've got our uh, not. Our, uh, no, we do have a new podcast. We have a new podcast. We're not going to say what it is, though. No, not yet. Because it's a secret. Because it gets debuted right here on Facebook Live, <laughs> 2 o'clock Central on Wednesdays. Yes, that Great. is correct. And yep. Solutions on Thursday. and Blogger so, Roundup Fridays. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. going to be another... April's starting with a storm, isn't it? Yep, starts with okay. a bang. So, uh, well, we're going we're gonna to bring in Jan Lehman here uh, right after this little break. Now, there's a place just for you. Life can be busy, and you still have to keep it all together. That's why you like to be organized and in control. Introducing MyOrganize.life, a special place where you can get ideas and solutions to organize what's important to you, your important papers, your important decisions, your important life events. We show you the ideas and products to stay organized in your life. See what's new. Stop by and say hello. Visit us at any time at www.myorganize.life. It's just for you. Myorganize.life by Smead. Find us at www.myorganize.life. Myorganize.life. Well, today we have Jan Lehman from ctcproductivity.com. Uh, uh, that's your company. She's actually local here in the Twin Cities, and uh, glad you could be on this Facebook Live with us today. Yeah. Uh, in fact, if you ha we're going to talk today about how to hire the best person for the long term. Right? Mm -hmm. There's some things we want to do to make sure if we're hiring somebody for our company, we're getting the right person and that person's going to stick around. Mm -hmm. So um, right now in the comments, if you want to put something down like, here's my challenge with hiring new people, my biggest challenge is, just go ahead and do that. And even if you're watching on the replay, we can go back in and we'll take a look yep. at those uh, <clears throat> questions and Jan will hop on Facebook too and, yeah, and answer as well. So it'd be great. So, yep. so hiring, it's a big thing. Big costly thing. It's a costly <laughs> thing, and it's costly if you do yeah. it if if <clears throat> if you do it wrong, yeah. right? I mean, the cost yes, of, I mean, what much. is the cost of a bad hire? It's I yeah. mean, you, get, you spend a lot of money in the recruiting process, right? Yep. But what happens if you hire someone and they're a dud? Right. Yeah. What they're saying is what twenty percent. Yeah. Twenty percent of the uh, average salary. Yeah. Right? So For the individual. Yeah, that could be six thousand, fifteen thousand dollars, or more, depending on if it's yeah. a high level person. So, yep. I know a lot of companies. Um, and in this in this economy, whether you agree with the numbers or not, because you never know statistics if they're correct or not, right. but you know yeah. unemployment is really low. Yeah. So good. the competition good. for good work, if someone wants a job right now, they can have a job. Yeah. Right? Yep. So, uh, well, let's talk a little bit about what are some of the steps to do before someone even walks in for that interview? Uh, mm -hmm. What would be some things, if you're working with a company and coaching them on yep. you know, how to mm -hmm. get ready to hire you know, someone they want to keep for a long term, you know, yeah. what would you what would you say to them? Well, one of the best things to do if it's it's if it's a position you already have is really look at <clears throat> look at your current staff okay. and what they do and make sure everybody's in full agreement of what the expectation is for that job yeah. and really get it in writing. Yeah. People interpret things differently, so get it written down and then have those conversations with those individuals during the recruiting process. I'm a huge advocate of testing even before you've hired. Okay. Um, if if an expectation is that they're detail oriented, then send them an email with like 20 different bullet points and ask them to respond and see yeah. if they get all 20. 
If they don't, then even if they say they're detail oriented, they're not. Yeah. So there's nothing that says you can't do that sort of testing before you hire somebody. Yeah. Um, I would say another big focus is really um, an area where I see a lot of failure with companies is they don't spend enough time to make sure it's a good cultural fit. Yeah. Um, does this person have an open attitude? Are they coachable? Are they negative? Mm -hmm. uh, negativity in the workforce is like cancer. Yeah. So they actually say quite often that you should be really testing a lot of the skill sets and things like that before they even come in the office. Mm -hmm. And then when they come in the office, it's like, how do they get along with everybody? Take yeah. them out to lunch with the you know the lowest level people, see if they treat them respectfully. Yeah. And really, and see if this is gonna be somebody that fits in with what your culture, you obviously need to know what your culture is to start with, yeah. right? What are your core values, those sort of things. Yeah. But there's a huge focus right now, especially with millennials on, is it a good cultural fit for them? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. funny, you, you, you spurred a, a, a story when I worked at a different company about, uh, we watched this um, video series on how to hire salespeople. Okay. And, and, yeah. and so one of them was take them, you know, when you're getting close, take them out to lunch yeah. and, and, you know, yeah. watch how they, you know, you eat their role. Absolutely. And it's like, okay, yeah. you, you kind of, it makes me laugh a little bit. But <laughs> the, the, the funny part of the story is we were hiring a sales manager and um, so he came in for the, we, this is like the third interview. So he's come in, yeah. you know, we're knowing him pretty well and he is sick as a dog. But he still he did he should have canceled the interview and said what you know a trooper though yeah so we're out you know we're out there at lunch and his he's just <laughs> white as a ghost <laughs> and we're all kind of you know just yeah. like don't cough on us you know because we're having <laughs> yeah. a little fun but uh, yeah. I think that is key to see them another thing we do here like at Smead for our art department is uh, when we're hiring new designers we'll send them you know a logo a headline and some copy and say here create an ad with this yeah absolutely you know, so that that yeah. pre testing really can work oh it's huge and it yeah. does also kind of cut out you know the the scammers or the people who you know yeah. say they can do one thing but really can't do yes. even a basic function right because yes. it's always a lot harder to get rid of somebody after they're on the payroll and yeah. they've been there and you know you want to have a little okay well we'll you know but yeah. let's just say you hire someone who maybe doesn't have the right skills what do, okay. what do you do maybe you know when they're there for the first few months I mean how do you uh, deal with someone new to make sure they're living up to the expectations yeah so definitely um, you know the 30 60 90 day check-ins are critical because okay. time will go by super fast and before you know it, it'll be three years and nobody's told this person that they're not really doing a good job yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's really important to have those check-ins it's it's important to spot where there's development areas and try to really mm -hmm. work with somebody um, but ultimately if if you really can't get the square peg round hole thing to work yeah. but yet you know they have talent in other areas look to redefine the job. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't mean they need to be fired. Maybe you can move them into yeah. a different area. And that kind of comes with like leadership or coaching because that's like yeah. a coach of a baseball team thinking, boy, this, this yes. guy's arm is just not quite as good for yep. a third third baseman. Let's move him over to second. Yeah. Still a great, you know, or better great catcher. hitter. Yeah, yeah or well, catcher. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, I don't know. I'm yeah. not a baseball I'm not either coach, as so. I said that. <laughs> so here we are using an analogy we can't we don't back know. up, right? But, yeah. So, um, okay, so we've got, uh, what else can we do in advance? I think also with maybe the people that are already at the company mm -hmm. who maybe aren't involved in the direct, uh, I mean, you always say, let's do this, you know, 360 degree kind of hiring where you yeah. get someone from all mm -hmm. levels, someone, you know, but that always is not possible. But, you know, in anticipating of bringing someone on new, we kind of touched on a little bit earlier about making sure the position fit is right. But what mm -hmm. should you do with the people that are already at the company, uh, you know, in order to get them ready for somebody new? Yeah, it's big. It's making sure, because what happens all the time in companies is they'll take a really strong performer and move them into management. Yeah. And that doesn't mean they're really good people manager. And right. so they're, they're companies miss all the time with training. So we coach a lot of people that have transitioned into a bigger role yeah. on effective delegation and how to you know get away from being a perfectionist. The importance of hiring somebody smarter than yourself, yes. that's a big one. They might be threatened and say, I don't wanna hire that person. Yeah. When the best thing for the company is to hire this uber smart person. Yeah. So it's really coaching this individual on you know, what is your role? How are you gonna coach and develop this person? You know, it, There's a lot there and that's where companies fail a lot. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about maybe one of the companies you've worked with, you don't have to use their name, mm -hmm. and, and yep. some of the kinds of things that you've done to help them successfully hire and, and really make 
maximize the talent of the person they've got. Yeah, sure. So oftentimes we'll come in because there's productivity issues. And as we're working with people, we'll find out that, again, they're lacking in certain training mm -hmm. um, or, you know, whatever the gaps are. And what we like to do is not just sort of fix that one time thing, but we want to fix the root of the problem. Yeah. Right. So we back up quite often into the recruiting and onboarding process and say, you need to really make sure everybody here is being trained, not just the existing people. Otherwise, you're going to just exacerbate the problem with right. new people coming in. Great. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, well, this is a great. How, again, how do people get a hold of you uh, and what kinds of services do you offer? Sure. So um, we basically help companies and individuals be organized and productive. Okay. Uh, we do that by maximizing the three T's, time, okay. talent, and technology. And we are based in the Twin Cities in Minnesota, but we work all over the country. Okay. And uh, the company name is CTC Productivity, website ctcproductivity.com, okay. phone number 651-600-8382. Okay, great. Well, thanks, yeah. Jan. Appreciate yeah, you having thank you. Uh, time to be with us on Facebook today. Thanks. And I know we have podcasts coming up in the future with you as well and previous podcasts. Yeah. If you go to smeed.com slash podcast and just put in Jan Lehman, I'm sure you'll see some of her uh, podcast or listen to some of her podcast episodes that we have as well. So we'll be right back. Well, uh, that was yeah. a great interview with that Jan. Was interesting. Yes. And uh, by the way, again, if you have uh, comments, put them down in there. We'll answer any that we can right now, or we'll come back on the replay if you're watching this, and Jan will hop in and we'll we'll answer mm -hmm. the challenging questions that you have with uh, right. trying to hire the right people. Yep. Right. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, let's see. Uh, we have the podcast Wednesday this week. Yep. Right. Uh, Thursday solutions. Yep. And uh, Friday, and is, Friday blogger is the roundup blogger again. roundup, and it'll be another week. Yes. And then start all over on Monday. Wow. <laughs> okay. Well, there you have it, folks. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, yep. 2 p.m. Central Time, right here on Facebook for myorganized.life live.